I prayed to die and to die quickly because I knew that I preferred to die than to be taken hostage to, to Gaza Strip. They saw that there are people inside the van. My husband speak Arab, and they, they he heard them saying, uh, "There's people alive inside. Come here." So at this point, we all said goodbye to each other. I prayed to die and to die quickly because I knew that I preferred to die than to be taken hostage to, to Gaza Strip. <laughs> From 8 a.m. to 2 in the afternoon, they tried to open the door a few times. Uh, they shut the van a few times. They they break it because they tried to take us at some point, like around 12:30, uh, something like that. Uh, they tried to open the door, like they break the lock, but for some reason they didn't were able to open the door. There were four people here. Me, my friend Darin, Mor, and uh, Itali. My husband was sitting here, he was holding the door, and the couple was here on the bed. I was kind of hoping to find answers here, but I guess that there's no answers to my questions that won't explain to me why did I survive. Like, it's all plastic, it makes no sense. But somehow it did save their lives. For the last two weeks, I wasn't able to get out of bed. I thought that with time things would be easier, they're not getting as easier. They're getting harder. Every day they go by, I miss my, my dead friend more. I'm more and more worried about the friends that are in Gaza Strip because I know that they were alive, but maybe they died since. I, I worry, I worry for a soldier that I there. I just want everything to end and to try to to lick my wounds and understand what have ever happened to me, but I, I can't do it yet, not when my friends are still there. I just can't.